Did one debate change everything? Today, we're diving into Joe Biden's challenging debate performance and his fiery response in North Carolina. How did he turn controversy into a comeback? Join us as we unravel these pivotal moments and their impact on his presidency. In politics, perception often paints a picture as vivid as action. Recently, President Biden faced tough scrutiny over his debate performance, only to turn the tables with a powerful speech in North Carolina. Let's explore these contrasting events and their implications. They've raised $500 million, billion dollars, I should say, in a 10-year period. We'd be able to right wipe out his debt. We'd be able to help make sure that all those things we need to do, child care, elder care, making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if... Clearly, Biden struggled to communicate effectively, which fueled widespread concern about his capability. But was this a fair assessment? Let's delve into the criticisms and defenses to understand the broader context. President Joe Biden had just one simple job in last night's debate to convince America that he's fit to serve. The bar was set at ankle height, but the president tripped straight over it. He faltered, he mumbled, he lost, and his race must surely now be over and peers, every time I said, let's pick someone stronger so that we can beat Trump, they said, oh, you want, oh, so you like Trump, you want to help Trump. No, you pick the strongest person so you can beat Trump. And apparently they couldn't understand simple concepts like that. Just when the critics seemed to have the upper hand, Biden responded with vigor in North Carolina. This next clip showcases a starkly different Biden, one who's articulate and passionate. What changed in 24 hours? He lied about how great he was on crime. I had to remind him that he oversaw a record increase in murder rates in 2020. On my watch, violent crime has hit a 50-year low. And then I pointed out that the only convicted criminal on the stage last night was Donald Trump. <laughs> when I thought about his 34 felony convictions, his sexual assault on a woman in a public place, his being fined, $400 million for business fraud. I thought to myself, Donald Trump isn't just a convicted felon. Donald Trump is a one-man crime wave. <laughs> Folks, I don't walk as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. I know. I know, I know right from wrong, and I know how to do this job. In North Carolina, Biden didn't just speak. He roared back with a message of resilience and vision. This juxtaposition raises questions about the impact of media narratives, public expectations, and the political spectacle on our perceptions of leadership. During his speech, Biden reminded us of a familiar American ethos. And I know like millions of Americans know, when you get knocked down, you get back up. I know what it took to take our economy into the depths of pandemic to where it is today, the strongest economy in the world. His ability to rebound after a tough debate paints a vivid picture of a leader who embodies perseverance. From the debate stage to a rally podium, the political arena is unpredictable and often unforgiving. Biden's recent appearances offer a profound case study in political recovery and the power of a resolute speech. What do you think? Was the debate a temporary stumble or is there more at play? Thanks for watching. If you're intrigued by how political narratives unfold and impact leadership, hit the subscribe button and join our conversation. We'll continue exploring how these moments shape not only presidencies, but also national and global politics. Like, comment, and Share your thoughts below. How do you view Biden's response and its broader implications for his presidency and the political landscape? Stay tuned for more in-depth analysis on this channel.